Welcome to HRP. In this video, I am going to explain the remaining part of important question of Hapili examination for class 9 computer science. So, in previous video, I have already explained, uh, already talked about chapter 1 and 2. If you have missed the video, please check the description or the i button. Now, let's come to the third chapter, which is MS PowerPoint and this mark distribution is like this way from chapter 1 15 to 10 3 25 4 10 and 5 10 total is 70 marks and 30 marks to uh, practical so the third chapter first part is MS Word from the first MS Word you can see what is word processor see the example example you can write MS Word Word star etc and see the advantages of a word processor or the uses why we are going to use and uh, what is ms word what are the uses of word means we can use ms word to create letters to write uh, to design envelopes letters etc so this one you can write and the text alignment like the position of text and different text alignment justify center left right this and even the shortcut keys of different alignment that one you can see and the type of indent uh, that one you can see uses of word art header and footer and header and footer also might require for powerpoint uh, so you can write exactly same and see the shortcut keys mainly for thesaurus save open different alignment thesaurus it's a uh, shift plus f7 i think and uh, from the ms word part these topics are not required from working with tables after that uh, it's not required so you can skip it for examination and the next part comes ms excel from here you can see what is spreadsheet examples like ms excel and google spread google sheets etc and the first spreadsheet application which is a uh, vizicalc uh, application or the uses of spreadsheet at least four or five uc points and definition like cell worksheet workbook active cell cell address cell range etc worksheet it's a single page on a workbook workbook it's a collection of worksheets so this you can see and the address of the first cell which is a1 address of the last column which is xfd even see the number of rows and number of columns which may come in come for short questions and some shortcut keys are there like uh, to move to the next cell to come move to the previous cell to go to the bottom cell so this shortcut key also you see from the book and some steps like uh, steps to inserting rows step to inserting columns this one also you can see for examination and autofill this one see the definition autofills means sometimes uh, we can just write first few first one or two uh, word or numbers of a series and we can drag it to get the series like suppose if I want a work test just like Monday write Monday and drag it uh, till some cells and uh, address that will come automatically from Excel also some parts are omitted from formula and function complete chapter is not required so you can skip that part like formula and functions types of cell referencing etc so this part you can uh, skip for your examination after that comes powerpoint in powerpoint you can see what is presentation examples 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 you can write powerpoint and many are there like a presenter and so on and see the advantages or features of presentation software also applications of presentation software application advantage features they are almost same you can write exactly same answer for that and what is powerpoint powerpoint it's a presentation software from microsoft that one you can write and definition also see slide slide so slide master etc and the different views uh, with explanation you prepare for examination like a normal view slide so view page layout view etc and uh, definition of theme why we apply theme also animation different type of animation and how we can crop a picture what is a slide master how can we insert table in our presentation so this you can see for your examination and from this uh, part also some 
topics are removed they are from watermark watermark in powerpoint inserting sound and movies grouping and rotating objects slide transition and animation animated effects so this part is not required for examination you can skip this part now i'll move to chapter 4 which is uh, introduction to the internet from urc what is internet the definition of internet uh, definition of topology and also see the different types of topologies name and their definitions like ring topology star topology bus topology mesh topology and their advantages and disadvantages and uh, at least two topologies you see the diagram like uh, main mostly from star or bus topology and their advantage and disadvantages and uh, you can see client server architecture it's a uh, means both the computers work as a server sometime one computer will work as server another one client and sometime the another one will be server and the other one will be client so this is a uh, see the diagram also it's available in your book and uh, different types of wired connection in wired connection it's come broadband uh, dial up dsl isdn etc and uh, few connections definition mainly dsl and broadband and also see wireless internet connection in wireless you can see satellite connection wi-fi mm, then uh, then Wi-Fi and one more is there microwave uh, I forgot it so this one you can see it and uh, definition you can see from definition you can see for Wi-Fi and WiMAX this two's definition you can see and uh, after that comes browser browser definition see it's an application to navigate to the internet or to WW an example like Mozilla Google Chrome and please uh, remember here while ask uh, browsers example don't don't write google google is not a browser you can write google chrome and if ask uh, give example of search engine then you can write google again in search engine don't write google chrome google chrome is a browser it's not a search engine google is a search engine and google chrome is the browser many of students make this mistake so be careful on this and uh, also you can see the definition of www web page website for web page, you can write an electronic document on www which is written in by using html and website it is a collection of related web pages and uh, see the definition of search engine and their example also and how it's work how search engine search the information and from this chapter you can uh, learn the full form like url uh, ymax wi-fi www this uh, full forms you can learn and even you see the structure of url uh, in URL there are different part like protocol, subdomain, root domain, top level domain, uh, etc. There, so you see the structure of a uh, URL. Sometimes it may come in uh, for one mark or in MCQ. Some part it will ask that uh, name the part of the URL. Means you have to identify which part is domain, which part is protocol. So you see in, from your book page number it is one one one. So you can see the diagram and you can identify the parts. After that, uh, what type of information you can search from search engine? The example of search engine, that one you can see from your book and from this chapter. So few topics are removed like uh, email, electronic mail, email addresses, components of email, chat and video conferencing. These topics are removed from chapter 4. So you don't have to prepare this part for your examination. Now we'll move to chapter 5 which is ethics, ethics in IT so what is uh, IT first you will learn this or you will see this one IT means information technology when we get when we access the information through digital devices like computer CD DVD or television then it's called call as ICT and IT means uh, to deliver the information through digital devices so you see the definition exact uh, definition from book you can write that one and uh, what do we mean by ethics in IT means uh, while we are using internet or while we are using computer and all so there we should uh, follow some rules or we have to behave some particular way that are known as ethics in IT means at present uh, the complete system is dependent on computer so we have to know the ethics in IT we have to know which we should do in the on the internet we should we should not do so actually we are discussing this 
things in ethics in IT. And uh, next, what is plagiarism? Plagiarism means when we copy something from the internet exactly same to same and you are uh, claiming after that that this uh, thing was done by you. This is called plagiarism. Actually, we should not do that. We should always dream, uh, we should always uh, avoid this and uh, also see the different types of plagiarism and how you can avoid from plagiarism and after that uh, intellectual property rights and the different types of intellectual property rights so there comes copyrights trademark and uh, patent so this one's definition you see what is copyright what is patent what is trademark and all and uh, see the definition of firewall firewall is a device or it's a soft device or a software which protect our computer from hackers attack or from unauthorized users so that they cannot enter to our computer system and different types of firewall mainly two types hardware and software and also see the definition of antivirus why we need antivirus some examples examples are like quick hill avast and all and uh, see what is password the definition of password and how we can make our password strong we can make our password strong by using combination of capital letters small letters symbols and numbers in it and it should at least have uh, eight characters and definition of privacy from chapter 5 also few parts are omitted they are cyber crime how to protect yourself against cyber crime software piracy and types of software piracy so this much only for today's video in thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye